Oh, Mark, sensational fight, man on a mission. Three attempts it took you to win a British title. How does it feel to have finally done it? I can't even put it into words. I can't even, I can't even freaking talk. Emotional moments. I know that there's been a lot of ups and downs in your career. Joe Gallagher here has believed in you all the way through. Can you talk about the turning point and what this means to you? It means absolutely well to me. Uh, I can't even put it into words. I, it don't even feel real. You know what, yeah? I just want to say, my dad sat at home watching this dad. Dad, I love you and we've done it. I've got, I've got this 10 of us, yeah? Six sisters and four brothers, yeah? And we, I reckon we've all let my dad down over the years. And we've done it, Dad. We've done it. Sensational. Joe, let me get a few thoughts from you on the fight itself. That round five stoppage, there was a bit of controversy. What are your thoughts around that? I thought he'd hurt him numerous times uh, from round one. Each round he managed to buckle his legs, hurt him with body shots around before. And I thought it was a good shot in the temple. His legs buckled. He didn't fire back. There was no shot in return and left the referee no choice, choice to step in. And as you can see, Matt was ready to go through the gears. So... Listen, it is what is it, the sun shone on Matt tonight. He came out firing, Lennox responded in the second round. What was your advice to him through the fight and why was that the right strategy? Um, listen, uh, Lennox said in the change rooms when I was watching, his hands wrapped, make sure he doesn't run tonight. And that was always the plan. We've always got to go out and go into the eye of the storm round one and let him know we weren't running, we were here. And let him feel our power, let him worry about us instead of us worrying about him. Then after that, Mark, Mark got back on the jab. And it was just a case of countering the shots when it fell short, and it was just sooner or later. And the pair of you reunited, first fight back together. What does that mean for you? It means the world. Like, I said to Joe then, like, I left him for no reason 10 years ago, just to be at the same gym as my brother Ronnie. I was at Andy Farnell's gym. It was the biggest mistake I've ever done in boxing. And uh, I tried coming back with Joe a couple of years ago, but he, he, had, he had a stacked gym, a, a packed gym. So he basically said, he said no, because he had a full gym. So. Ever since then, I've had my manager, Kevin, he's been on to him since, and then he accepted me back again. And now, look. And, Joe, I'll leave this with you. Three belts around his waist, around his neck. We know the potential he has. You've always known the potential he has. Where do you go from here? Well, that's it. Down Frank, he's got IBF there, he's the British, and this is the platform. I've always said, you kids, when they turn professional, they have potential. This kid hasn't fulfilled his potential. Tonight was the first step on the way, and we're going to see Mark kick on. He's a good-looking kid, he can punch, and the world's his oyster. Absolutely, it is indeed. Congratulations, the pair of you. See you soon. Thank you very much.